Hello and welcome our blood viewers to RCD's News English Edition. As usual, we bring to you the major and top highlights of tonight. The party's vice president closes in the Arta region, RPP Regional 2. And on the international scene in Haiti, children's education and safety in the face of violence. Those were the major and top highlights. Welcome back to our newsroom, our blood viewers. As part of its regional tour in the Retiro regions that began last week, the delegation led by the Prime Minister and GBD Chairman of the Popular Rary Party, Mr. Abdul Ghadir Kamil Mohammed, arrived yesterday, Saturday, in the capital of Arta. Upon his arrival in the capital of Arta, the Prime Minister, Mr. Abdul Ghadir Kamil Mohammed, was warmly received in the minister by the Minister of Energy in charge of Natural Resources, Mr. Yunus Ali Gedi, and two parliamentarians from the branch of the Popular Rary for Progress, RPP, in Arta. The delegation was also warmly welcomed by a leader from the region and party activists. In honor of the delegation, a group breakfast was organized at the Sunny Hill Center in Arta. After that, the vice president of the popular Rari for uh, Progress Party, Ms. Abdul Ghadir Kamil, Mohammed, held a meeting with the officials and leaders of this region in order to listen to their complaints and requests. Uh, this visit represented an opportunity for polit political readers to urge and encourage the people of Arta towards unity and social cohesion. The heads of the party branches in Arta expressed their satisfaction and happiness at belonging to this ancient party. Uh, with while listing the tremendous successful achievements achieved by the Arta region, officials in turn presented expectations regarding the improvement and strengthening of some uh, virtual infrastructure. In his speech, the Minister of Energy in charge of Natural Resources, Mr. Yunus Ali Giri, thanked the people of Arta for their warm reception and hospitality. Praising the efforts of the Prime Minister, uh, he took the opportunity to express his solidarity and condolences to the families of the victims of the Trentino rains that severely affected the country on Thursday, especially in the uh, Wakarot and Arta districts and the city of Djibouti. In his speech, the GBT chairman of the Popular Rally for Progress Party, Prime Minister Mr. Abdul Ghadir Kamil Mohammed, indicated that the various visits he and the accompanying delegation made to the interior regions of our country fall within the framework of the path drawn uh, by the wise policy of the head of state and the chairman of the Popular Rally for Progress Party, Mr. Ismail Umar Gele, who has a constant interest in the well-being and prosperity of his people. Then the Prime Minister, accompanied by the Minister of the Interior, the Prefect of the Arta region and members of Parliament from the region traveled to Karta to offer uh, their sincere, uh, sincere condolences on behalf of the government by the two families who had lost members of their family to the flooding wadis following the Trentennial rains. The, the Prime Minister for his visit and expressed their gratitude to the Prefect Parliamentarians and armed forces who had assisted them uh, day and night in the wake of this unfortunate event.
اللي حبكين اجتمعي اجتمعي يا اللي كان بيسولم عين كين سكتة بيتك يا اللي كي يسلم اللي حبته معي ساعات يكمل الله بسلي The President of the National Assembly, Mr. Delita Mohamed Delita, received an audience today, Sunday, March 21st, Mrs. Fatou Fall, resident representative of the World Bank in Djibouti. After the welcome and exchange of visual kindness, the interview focused on questions of cooperation between the World Bank and Djibouti, and in particular on the ways and means available to the national institution to promote the development of this new digital tool in our country. At the end of the interview, Mrs. Fatou Fall thanked the President of the National Assembly for his warm welcome and his open-mindedness, expressing her satisfaction at having offered him the opportunity for this fruitful interview. The Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Government Spokesman, Mr. Mahmoud Ali Youssef, received this morning the Special Envoy for the Horn of Africa Affairs from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of China, uh, Mr. Shu Bing, during this fruitful meeting. Uh, three important topics were discussed. First of all, both parties welcomed the current state of political relations between Djibouti and China and expressed optimism about the future prospects this relations between the, the two countries. The second part of discussions was focused on the forum on, forum on China-Africa cooperation. Mr. Xu Bing informed the Minister of China's desire to organize the next forum summit in autumn, inviting Djibouti to participate. Finally, the third subject discussed ways uh, of the upcoming organization of the Second China Horn of Africa Confer Conference on Peace, Good Governments and Development. The minister congratulated China for this uh, laudable initiative and reiterated Djibouti's commitment to actively participate in this conference. Mr. Mahmoud Ali Yusuf and Mr. Xu Bing agreed on the importance of continuing to strengthen cooperation between Djibouti and China in various fields within the aim of promoting development and stability in the Horn of Africa region. Under the chairmanship of Parliament member Mr. Abdurrahman Awali Yassin, the Foreign Affairs Committee examined this Sunday, March 31st, 2024, Bill Number 88 N 24 slash 9th legislature ratifying the investment promotion and protection agreement and uh, of with the Kingdom of Morocco. Draft number 89 slash N 24 slash 9th legislature ratifying the investment promotion and protection agreement with the Republic of Rwanda. Bill number 90 slash N slash 24 slash 9th legislature ratifying the investment promotion and protection agreement with the Republic of Kenya. This meeting saw pa the participation of the Secretary of State responsible for investment and private sector development, Mrs. Safiya Mohammed Ali Gadili, accompanied by administrators of this ministerial department. At the end of in-depth and constructive discussions, the Foreign Affairs Committee forwarded this draft laws to the next public session with its favorable opinion. The Committee on Finance, General Economy and Planning, headed by the Honorable Sharmanke Musa Are, held two working sessions this Sunday, March 21st, 2024, with Mr. Mohammed Warsama Dire, Minister of Commerce and Tourism, Mr. Hassan Muhammad Ibrahim, Minister of Infrastructure and Equipment. The first meeting focused on Bill number, uh, uh, Bill ratifying and approving the financial accounts of the Djibouti Office for Industrial and Commercial Pro uh, Property for the financial years of 2020, 2021, and 2022. This session saw the participation of uh, the accompanied by the governing bodies of the Djibouti Office of Industrial and Commercial Prosperity. Uh, the second part of the day was devoted to examining the 2021 and 2022 financial accounts of the Central Building and Equipment Laboratory. The working session led by the Honorable Chairman Musaari, Chairman of the Finance Committee, took place in the presence of the members of the Finance Committee, uh, extended to the production and trade community. After constructive and in-depth discussions during these two sessions, the Commission uh, expressed a verbal opinion concerning two bills uh, and transmitted them for adoption in the next public session. The Minister Delegate in Charge of Decentralization chaired a working meeting this morning, Sunday, March 21st, which brought together the presidents of the regional councils, the president of the communes, uh, the deputy mayor of the city of Djibouti, as well as technical executives from the Ministry of Decentralization and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The objective of this meeting is to collect data on budgetary decentralization and provide information on the progress made by our country in terms of budgetary decentralization. All the information collected with all will be integrated into the report that our country will soon transmit to the Continental African Peer Review Mechanism through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, um, designed as APRM focal point in Djibouti, recalling that our country has been a member of the APRM since 20. 2007 and that a first general assessment mission of the country was carried out in 2015. It was following targeted review that recommendations were made by the MAYP experts. This is the final turn for Muslims who are fasting during the month of Ramadan. 
this holy month for Muslims is coming to an end, uh, but the last 10 days are the most important, according to the Quran and the Sunnah, the Islamic tradition. It is in this period that Night of Destiny, Laylatul Qadr, is located, whose grace is equivalent to a thousand months, according to the eponymous Surah. During the last 10 days of the month of Ramadan, the Prophet and his companions devoted themselves entirely to the worship of God the Almighty Allah, to repentance and to prayers so that he would realize their dearest aspirations, explains the young speakers. The Ramadan is one of the five pillars of Islam. From the beginning of the month to the end, the gates of paradise open, the gates of hell closes, and the demons are put to harm. Muslims, Muslim worshippers will refrain from eating and drinking for several hours of the day. They take the opportunity to pray at night in addition to the prayers of the day and fast from dawn to sunset if they are in good health. As part of spiritual activities in honor of the holy month of Ramadan, a recitation competition of the Holy Quran uh, and religious conferences at the CDC of Section 5 in Engela. At the Section 5 Community Development Center, a Holy Quran recitation uh, course began on Monday evening at the succession of the Community Development Center, the second phase of the Holy Quran uh, competition on five juz between CDC of Section 3 and Section 5 was held at Section 5 Development Center involving 20 young people from neighboring communities respective aged 12 to 17. The competition jointly organized by the two CDCs is part of the special activities honoring the blessed month of Ramadan. The competition of uh, recitation and memorization of the Holy Quran of which uh, the winners will be rewarded aims above all to flourish and promote and stimulate the culture of faith among young people. Such initiatives undoubtedly promote the learning of the Quran and safeguarding and preservation of religious values. The second round of the Holy Quran uh, recitation competition which took place on Monday, March 25th under the supervision of Sheikh Ali Abdullah. Heading towards the north of the country where the Tajura Medical Hospital Center is not experiencing any respite from activity during the blessed month of Ramadan. The emergency activities are always overflowing after the break of Ramadan. Treatment is still provided under the tents that serve as a temporary, temporary hospital. This does not discourage users from visiting the emergency departments at the time of this of the year according at the, to the chief medical officer there are cases of acute food poisoning and diarrhea due to a malobservation uh, the doctor also reports many cases of malaria which is becoming more and more of concern yesterday afternoon a car coming from Balho overturned injuring nine people four of them seriously injured the accident took place some 15 kilometers from Tajura first aid was provided by the Tajura a team which mobilized four ambulances. The injured were then evacuated to Djibouti by Coast Guard speedboats. Speed boats. Lastly, the chief medical officer invited the population to go to hospital if they had any concerns and not to wait until the last minute or in the event of complications. This is the best way to ensure the most effective treatment. Still in Tajura, where as part of the Ramadan tournament, after a collective iftar organized by the Tajura Regional Subdirectorate, a friendship match was held at the Tajura Sports Complex on the evening of Friday, March 29, 2024, starting at 10 p.m. The match was a soccer match entitled Fema of Tajura, in which two Fema teams competed against each other, putting on a fine show of sports entertainment during the match. This friendly match was attended by the Vice President of the Tajura Regional Council and Deputy Director of State and Sec Security in Charge of Sports, Madame Medina Dimbio. The bleachers of the sports complex were packed with spectators actors to watch this long awaited and uh, prepared match. Uh, Madame Medina Dimbio congratulated the organizers of this wonderful sporting event. The soccer match was a symbolic initiative to reinforce the culture of solidarity, mutual aid and tolerance in this month of mercy. Shifting towards the regional news now, the Somali parliament approved and adopted yesterday by majority the revision of the first four chapters of the country's constitution after discussion that lasted several uh, sessions. The Speaker of the Somali Parliament, Adan Mohamed Noor, confirmed that 254 out of to total of 275 members of Parliament in both chambers today voted in favor of amending the first four chapters in the country's constitution last uh, February. The Somali Parliament with its people and Senate chambers began discussing the immediate and updating of the country's interim constitution for the first time in over 10 years during the amendment that was discussed in certain points.
Shifting gears towards the international scene now, with repeated school closure and massive population displacements, Haiti's children are suffering in the shadows of the violence that has stuck the Caribbean country. In the capital, uh, Port-au-Prince, the political vacuum has created a climate of violence. Educators point out that the situation weighs heavily on the development of young people. Well, by this, our blog viewers, we finally conclude this edition. Thank you for being with us, and make sure to tune in later for more. Have a wonderful evening. Take care.